Hey, what's up? This is Captain Lockpick and I'm Brian. Today we will be going over Lishi lock preparation. So basically the steps that you want to take before you just go right into picking uh, a lock with the Lishi tool. Um, this is going to be uh, especially beneficial for beginners out there who are just looking to get into Lishi tools and um, don't quite have much experience yet. Uh, but if you don't take these steps to Getting the lock prepped for your Lishi tool, then you can A, be very hard on your Lishi tool. They're very expensive tools. You don't want to break them and have to replace it. Um, but also you can get inaccurate readings and you can make it much more difficult and time consuming to get the lock picked in order to decode it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into it and I'll show you guys. Let me switch the camera over here and I'll show you kind of what I do to prep the lock for the most smooth leashy tool experience. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to prep this lock for picking is we are gonna spray some lubrication in there. I always use Houdini, it's my favorite lock lube. Uh, it always gets the job done. Put the straw right in. Give it a couple squirts. That is leaking on my table. <laughs> That's okay though. I'm gonna set the lube aside. And we're just gonna let that sit in the lock. It's gonna soak into all the wafers and kind of free up any dirt or grime uh, that's in the lock. I'm gonna take the existing key. You can use a key blank or you can use the existing key. Uh, you're, you're probably, if you're just practicing, you can use the existing key, that's fine. Um, but in real world situations, you're not gonna have the key, so you're probably just gonna use a key blank. So I'm just gonna work that lube in there really well. And then what I like to do is pull the key out and then I like to take a paper towel and I just kind of pull off all the dirt and uh, grease and all the uh, dust particles that you're pulling out of the lock. So we'll do that again. And I'd say this lock is about cleaned out. It should be good to go. So we'll set that aside. The next step, which is very important, is you wanna make sure that you pull these tabs right here. You wanna pull them all the way back. If you have these tabs forward while you're inserting the leashy tool, you can really risk damaging off the picking tips down here. So I always pull them all the way back and I line my tool up and you just slide it in there. Make sure you push it all the way to the back of the lock cylinder. And then once that's in there, the next step that we will do is we want to check each and every space. And what we're looking for is any spaces that feel off. So for this, this springs up and down just how it should. And that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that all these spaces are springing back correctly. If you have one that's kind of sticking or maybe you don't feel a wafer in there at all, these are all things you need to take a mental note of or write down before you jump right into picking these locks or else you're going to cause yourself a headache trying to figure out why, you know, spending too much time on a lock that's not picking. Uh, so this is a really important step. I always do this on my customers' vehicles. So let's go through and check. Space one is springy as it should be. Space two is perfectly springy as well. Three is springing back perfectly. Four is good. Five is good as well. Six is good as well too. Uh, last two, seven, eight, both are good. So that's what we want to happen. That's what we're hoping for. All right, so let's just do a quick recap of how you prep a lock before you start leashing it. Um, Number one, you want to spray your lubrication into the lock. Again, I use Houdini. And then number two, you want to take your key blank for that keyway and just kind of run it in and out of the cylinder. Um, just trying to get that lubrication spread around in the lock as much as possible. Uh, go ahead and take a paper towel and wipe that off if necessary. And then you can do one more coat if you want. You can do as many coats as you think you need based on how dirty the lock is and how old it is. And then last but not least, number three is Go ahead and check the 
check each and every space to make sure that if there's, you know, springage. So you wanna push the wafer down in each space, make sure that it springs right back up. If it does not spring right back up, make sure you go ahead and take a mental note or write it down. So when you go ahead and pick it, you can kind of be prepared for, you know, any sticking wafers or damaged wafers or whatever the case may be. So those are the three steps that I follow to uh, prep a lock before I just jump right in and start picking it. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I appreciate you watching my video as always. Uh, this is video number one in a series of Leashy Tool training tips and tricks, videos that I will be posting. Um, so go ahead and subscribe and follow along. Uh, like the video, comment if you have any questions, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.